Celebration events have very different audiences than stage performances. You need to tailor your performance to the audience so that it's appropriate. Who do you think you're talking to? I do find that people who do a lot of theater and maybe don't have a lot of experience with kids, sometimes just, they still perform up here and they don't look at the kids. Down here? You're there interacting with them. They know you're not on a stage. You're not in the scene. You're there with them. Look at me, right at me. If you're on stage and you're singing, how far I'll go. I wish. I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try When you think about this song, it's actually really a really deep song. Like, she is struggling internally. She wants to be a good daughter. She wants to do what she needs to do. She wants to be a good leader for her people. But she keeps, she's torn. She, something inside of her is pulling her to the ocean. And if you're on stage, you can really take advantage of that and really develop that and have people share with you your, your, your anguish, your just uh, confusion. Like what do you do to share with them how you're torn and you don't know how to do what, what's right because you're something inside of you is telling you this, this isn't right. However, when you are at a birthday party. Happy birthday! Everybody's in a happy mood. They're there to celebrate and they get to blow up birthday candles and they're there to have fun. If you get out and give the most depressing, wonderfully beautiful, believable, my totally appropriate for stage rendition of how far I'll go, uh, and you do that at a birthday party, that that's gonna be weird. It's gonna be almost uncomfortable. Yes, the parents might find it touching, but it's not appropriate for the place. And I'm not saying don't deliver it with conviction and don't have those moments that are, are sad or don't have those moments that are emotional and you can see that inner conflict, but you have these happier moments. Find a happier interpretation of it. You're not there to depress people. You're not there to show off how great you are as an actor or great you are as a singer. That's, that's not what you're there for. That's not, <laughs> that's not it at all. That's why I'm here. But if you're on stage, you can do that. It's usually a little bit more mature audience or there's this kids there, but they have their parents there with them and you're they're part of a, a whole journey. Um, so you can end on a happier note and it's, it's, a different, it's a different setting. You can go to a really sad show and that's fine and kids can be part of that. I'm not saying that kids aren't equipped to watch your your gut-wrenching rendition of, of a song that they very well might be. But when you're at a birthday party, don't don't make it about you. It's always about you. Well, yes, make it believable, but make it fun, be happy. Best day ever! With little kids at a birthday party, I don't usually look at the adults. The adults just wanna make sure that you're interacting with the, the kids usually. I want everything to be perfect. Oh my Dudley special day. A lot of times there's like a semicircle around you. Make sure everybody in that semicircle feels like you look to them. Even if they're shy and they might look away, you can look over a little bit, maybe like some little side waving or, or smiling. Your focus usually will be that birthday girl, that birthday boy. Look at them, interact with them, brush their hair behind their ear, and dance with them. <laughs> You want everyone there to feel really special. Whatever like sweet little moment you want to have there, have that moment. Would you like to be a princess today? Grab that child's hands and look them in the eyes and sing them that song. They'll sing along with you a lot of times. That's definitely not something you are going to do. Performing on a stage would be weird. You go in the audience. Oh, hello. I'm gonna hold your hands and sing to you. That'd be really creepy. Especially if you do it without blinking. You're gonna sing with me. If you're at a birthday party the whole time, you need to be not necessarily smiling this way you're singing, at least smiling with your eyes. If you smile and smile and smile and smile, I can't keep smiling like this anymore. I am exhausted. That will solve so many problems for you. You are so much less likely to get any sort of, of, of complaint or a, a picture that looks like you didn't want to be there. That's the last thing you want. Um, just smile. Your 
you're happy to be there. You're happy that you're celebrating. They're happy. They're happy that you're there. Be happy with them. Be happy you're there with the kids. And you're being a, a princess, like of all things. Like, be happy about that. Happy so you gotta show that happiness in, in your singing, but you wouldn't necessarily show on stage. The last audience I'm going to talk about is, is a very challenging if you're ever at a children's hospital or somewhere where a kid is not doing well, 